Now to a conversation that we need to have, and I'm excited about it. Uh, Chrysantis Ache is a former UN ambassador, an antique art collector, and is my guest after conversation with Kofi Gold. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. What does it take to become a UN ambassador? Well, I was never an ambassador in the first place. Oh, I see. Let me clarify that. Oh, okay. <laughs> because so, I was UN international civil servant. Oh, civil servant. So that's how we were called. Okay. But some people tried to give me that title, ambassador. Oh, okay. We are never ambassadors. Okay. We are civil servants. Civil servants. And yes. so what were you doing there? Well, I worked for 32 years in the UN. Okay. Including time. I worked different capacities. Okay. I started as a legal uh, officer, okay. legal advisor. Then I went on to become uh, head of head of office, what we called representative of UNHCR in about uh, twelve African countries. Okay. But I worked in total about twenty something countries on okay. the continent. Okay. So I was doing all sort of things, management, legal work, and uh, and, and, and 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 just management basically. Okay. I did management for most of my time in the I UN. See. So there, there's some connection with uh, law practice in there. Or no, don't practice no. law per se. Okay. We have legal officers who, oh. who, who work with government okay. to create enabling conditions for refugees to okay. live in the country. Right. So not really practice law as okay. such. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay, yeah. I see. And you are by um, Ghanaian? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm from Cameroon. Oh, Cameroon. But I live here in Ghana. Oh, okay. I retired in Ghana. Okay. Is that interesting? Very. Yes. Very. Very. Because I believe in Pan Africanism. Absolutely. Yeah. In terms of whether. And in terms of the culture, where it is almost the same, almost the, yeah, same. the same, yes, almost the same. the same. How did you come about uh, collection of uh, uh, antique? Well, I would say I never started as I would say a professional antique collector. Okay. No, I didn't. Right. What I have today as uh, my collection is uh, what I started buying for myself for my house. Mm. So wherever I went, I bought artifacts from that country. Mm. And in the end, I realized, I realized I'd have so many of them in my living room. Okay. So I decided that there's a lot of things to just be lying there in my living room. So I put them on display okay. for people to come and see. So I'm not a professional art, artifacts, antique collector. Okay. I'm a, a village, primitive mm. artifacts collector, okay. arts collector oh, Af I african art collector i see yes and you used to do that for fun you yeah, love it exactly i used to just buy buy and at one point my wife was so angry with me because mm -hmm. you said mr ache you are just spoiling spending mo money that we used to eat mm -hmm. to buy things for mm -hmm. me to buy these things mm -hmm. i said madam they are i think it's good it's keeping alive african tradition let mm -hmm. me just buy these things mm -hmm. they are very good in the who knows in the end might be someone will learn something from mm, it. I see. So I started buying them, buying them for, for many years. I think we'll come back and talk uh, about the love uh, and where it started from and all that. But yes. so these are things <laughs> that look one old, but are a bit symbolic. No matter how you see it, it represents something. Let's Absolute, start with absolutely. that one over there. What's that? The one that, that is, is called Nkosekondi. Nkosekondi. Okay. It's from the, the DRC. Okay. The Congo people. And this one represents um, um, we would say it's it's a power, it's a power figure. Mm -hmm. Which means it used to treat problems. Okay. So this is kept in in the sanctuary, say, and each nail you see on this um, on this on this uh, on the figure represents a solution that's been a problem that's been resolved mm -hmm. by the uh, by the by the by the um, the which which not which no, which doctor by the doctor okay. for them in the, in the area. So um, and I, each time that a solution a problem is resolved, a nail is put into I the see. wood. Exactly. I will say in front there you have something like, uh, like um, reflecting glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It 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 actually to drive away drive away evil spirits. Okay. Even the process of resolving a conflict, anything evil is coming. It will reflect on that glass mm. and disappear. Oh. So it doesn't disturb the entire process of, wow. of healing. So that's what it is. The 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 the, the symbol of a passing right there has to do with the problems. The problems, exactly. And each time the a problem, problem is resolved, resolved they you put hit a nail. nail. Yes. A lot of problems resolved. Uh, 
I'm telling you. I, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And you bought it from where? Uh, from the from uh, the from uh, from the DRC. Oh, DRC. Yeah. Where from the herbalist or from the from the art art, art, art shop. Art okay, center, yes. okay. Yes. So it's it was lifted to the art shop and was sold. Yes. Okay. okay. Like many of those things, I okay. bought them from art people. I see. Yes. yes. In Sukukundi. Uh, Kosi Kondi. In Kosi Kondi. Kosi Kondi. Okay, in Kosi Kondi. In Kosi Kondi. Okay, yes. that's from DRC. Yes. How about yes. this? This one is actually, you call it Mahongwe. 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 Reliquary. Okay. It's from the Gabon. Gabon, right? Yes. And this one probably dates back to 1920 something. Okay. Because they stopped uh, uh, um, producing them in, 19, in the 30s um, because some uh, Western priests came and they wanted it because it looks like some was in juju oh, they didn't okay. want it so they took them and threw them in rivers in the forests mm. so until that until maybe during, after independence that's when they started bringing them out from the bushes mm -hmm. and the rivers so this one is very old very old. very old yes wow. and it is a reliquary which means that the 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 the, 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 the ancestral remains are supposed to be kept inside here mm. and protected mm. so each house in gabon or the surrounding areas found people, they will always have this in their homes. Mm. And every ancestral skull, somebody is dead, is supposed to be kept here and protected mm -hmm. by this one. Mm. That's what it is, basically. I see. And so this is all the way from Gabon, Libreville. Yes. Yes. Very, very, very old. How about this? That one is called Mba. Uh, it's called, um, it's from... Before we... So who gave them the names? Where you bought them from? No, that's a, those are the names. Those are, ah, that's are a, yeah, exactly. Those are the names. Okay. Yeah. So when you're names. buying them, they were telling you these are the names. Uh, not the, not, not all history. of them. Okay. They searched afterwards. Okay. Talking to people who come from there. Okay. And things like that. Yes. I see. Yes. And that's how some of the names. Exactly. Right. Yes. How about this? Yes. That is Mba. Mba. Mba is from Sierra Leone, oh. Guinea. Okay. Yes. It's, you see the lady there. Yes. It's, it's a lady. You see the, the breast there yes. and the, the, the stylistic hair mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. Um, but basically, it is a showing the, the, the strength and devotion of a woman to humanity. Okay. That way it shows. If you see the hairstyle there, it's not typically Mba hairstyle from Guinea. Okay. It's actually a Fulani oh, hairstyle. Oh, yeah. Well, the Fulani, the Mba lived in Guinea, in the Futajalon Mountains, where you have the, the, the Fulani to do the pearls. Okay. So that one is show that we live in this part of Africa, mm. even though in, even like Sierra Leone today, right. just again African or uh, Pan Africanism. Right. Even though the, 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 this uh, mask is not typically uh, Guinean or Pula pearl, pearl or Pearl or Fulani, the Mba decided to make the hairstyle look mm. like it's from, it's from Guinea. I see. Yes. Wow. That's, that's, that's amazing. And um, okay, how about the last one? The last one is um, uh, Bamana. From Bama, Bamana. From Mali. Okay. From Mali. It's used for initiation. Initiation? Initiation, Into yes. what exactly? Initiation, for example, from, the, uh, from childhood adulthood. Mm -hmm. When the children are being uh, brought in the society, in the, in the, in the, the training, mm. to move from, from childhood to adulthood, mm. they go through a process mm -hmm. of initiation. But once you finish the process of initiation, you carry that this mask on you mm. through a process in the village where people now recognize and accept that you are now a man, a, 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 you have now you achieved your manhood. It looks like a comb, the Afro comb. Have you seen an Afro comb before? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yes. it looks like an Afro comb. Yes, uh, the, 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 basically, comb. you see the, those those combs, those those, um, those um, um, protruding items. Mm. They may signify the strength of each uh, each um, uh, in, 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 mm. initiate or in, initiate initiate. Mm. Yes, and but sometimes uh, if it's an odd number. It represent a female. It's even it may be a male. Oh, if you count the, the I don't okay. know how many they are now, maybe that one is six or seven. Okay, so yes, that's six or seven. Maybe odd male or female. Nine. Yes, maybe nine is a male. Okay, male. So yes. odd numbers, male, male, female, even uh, female. female. Yes. I see. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, uh, and you have a lot of this. How about 250 pieces? 250 pieces. In different, different parts of Africa. Almost all countries in Africa. Almost all countries. Yes. Yeah. Where did this love for this start? Well, I would say when I was young, mm -hmm. I used to see um, in my village a lot of um, um, dances. Mm -hmm. And we're dancing with, with, uh, with masks, mm -hmm. face masks, mm -hmm. 
And I got myself into dancing as well. I mm -hmm. joined the mm -hmm. dancing society. Mm -hmm. So as a baby, a child like 10, I was dancing as well. Okay. So I loved mass from that, from that time when I was very young. Mm. But when I started working for the UN, and maybe that love that I had when I was young came back to me. Okay. So I started buying uh, all these artifacts wherever I went. Mm. Ghana, I bought items in Ghana, okay. Ethiopia, Congo, Somalia, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, Kenya, uh, um, Angola, wherever I went. You bought? I, yes, I bought, I bought. Yes, I bought. And you've documented all of this? All. Pictures? All, the, all these items, the 200 pieces, have write-ups, where they come from, mm. their names, and their uses. Where is that kept? In my house. In your house? Yes. I, uh, <laughs> you, you, want want you, <laughs> you want to come there? You want to come and visit me? Most welcome to come. <laughs> I, I could come, but it's not maybe time to put it out there. So no, 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 it's okay. No, I, we can come and visit me. That's okay, fine by me. That's yes, fine, yes right. good. Yes. Now, the issue of misconceptions, yeah. the myths around some of these things. For yes. instance, you're talking about this. A priest came one time, yes. said, This is cannot, evil. Exactly. Threw it into the river. Yes. And then, uh, Christantos actually went to Just buy it from there. And put it in his house. Exactly. He said, You are inviting these things into your house. How yep. have you dealt with people who say, Ah, this you're doing, um, uh, you. Oh, let me tell, let me tell a story. Right. When I was trying to, uh, to create the environment to put all these items. Right. There's a lady in the decorator who had to create, you know, um, uh, shelves, shelves for me for it. Okay. She came and did all the uh, invoices, I mean, all the designs and everything else. Next day she called me and said, Sir, I'm afraid I cannot do it anymore. So I said, Why? And she said, My mother says those items are evil. As my a lady should not see them. I said, Oh, really? Say yes. So I'm not coming there again. And that's what happened. She didn't do it. Ooh. Did, exactly because you're afraid, because of that uh, video you're talking about. That they are somewhat evil, somewhat mm -hmm. devil, mm -hmm. satanic, and things like that. And also, right now, two persons came to my house. I saw them, they wanted to see the, the, the gallery. They entered, and the lady almost ran out of the place. Hey. She ran out, completely ran out, and the man held his face and, and covered his face and ran out as well. So it's there. It's not as new, it's there. What was their problem? They couldn't fight. They couldn't just. Uh, you couldn't just fancy, fancy um, look at it. It's frightening. Mm. Frightening them. It's almost like it's sat satanic. Mm. You see. So is it satanic? Yeah, uh, yeah. Of course. I mean, basically, unfortunately, Afghan art is so loving. It is active. Mm. Uh, these things are very active. They are not. They 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 tear the they, the love of people. That's mm. what they they represent. Because all artifacts, all Afghan art, carved items, they represent something humans. Humans or totem animals or, or ancestors mm -hmm. and things like that. And it has a history. Mm. If you just give yourself a moment, come and listen. Mm. You love it. It's not meant to frighten people. It's meant rather to show us what we have, mm. what our cultures represent, mm. what can learn from our cultures, from our various cultures in Africa. It's right. very rich. Right. Yes. I yes. see. Yes. Um, have you heard of uh, Mr. Kwanza? No, I haven't. Okay. Because... Uh, he is, uh, I mean, the, the founder of this place. Okay. And he'll be in love with these Good. things. Good. Yeah. So he let me meet museum, him. Uh, he has a museum. Yeah. Okay. Brewer, uh, somewhere. And also, uh, he's being into this. And when you go out as well, they're okay. all scattered around. Okay. So, what, what, are you done collecting them? Well, yes. Because you're done collecting them. Uh, in, for a simple, simple reason, that's how long I'm getting very old. Mm. So I don't want to be collecting items for collecting sake. Um, the items are pretty old. Mm. Uh, some date back to 1990, 1910, 1920. So if now you want to go and buy an, an artifact, I'm, I'm not into modern mm. carvings. Mm. So if I want to look for an antique, an ocean, an, an ancient piece now to buy, can I afford? No, mm. I can't. Mm. I can't afford it. Basically, that's what it is. So antique is expensive? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that could cost you so much? Thousands of dollars. Or Thousands of dollars? Of, of, of course. Something that people throw away. Uh, of course, basically, yes. Is it because of the kind of persons that will come to want to buy? Because if someone who has worked in the UN, I see your voice is deep when you are <laughs> pissed out, then I see $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'll, I'll tell you, no, I will sell it to you at that price because for me, it's very, that's really, really not the value it should be. So that's, I will not take it. It's very low. Basically, 
Because you now, this is part of me. So to sell it really takes somebody to offer me something very, very significant to okay. take it. Yeah. I see. Yes. So what it means is that largely uh, you don't have anybody to take after you to say I could continue the legacy of. Well, I hope I hope one of my boys will do that because they are not into it right now. But I hope they do it when I when I when I go okay. to the Lord. What what are they into now? No, my children. They 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 one is a is a lawyer. Okay. Trading, uh, doing straight somewhere on the continent. Okay. The two others in London doing their other different things. Okay. Whether they come in, they're involved in liking it, like it. They, they show interest, but who knows? Mm. Maybe I can get somebody in Ghana here to continue, continue the, uh, what I love. Maybe I'll take over. Uh, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so we are spending time with, uh, Cassandra Ache and is, uh, an art collector. Mm, yes. So you say, it's not supposed to be okay. You are not a professional art. I'm okay? not. I'm uh, not. You're just passionate about exactly. it, and you want people to also connect with what you do. Yes. And so, now that you you so you've documented it, yes. uh, it's all in your house in yes. the gallery. Yes. Uh, is it open for people? To uh, if people call me and contact me, they can come and visit. 